In this video, we are going to learn how to find the volume of a cone when we are given the slant height. So let's quickly remind ourselves, what is the difference between height and slant height? So height goes from the base of the cone straight up to the vertex of the cone. That would be our height. Whereas slant height is the distance along the outside of the cone, would be our slant height. And when we think about the formula for the volume of a cone, which is one-third pi r squared times h, this h stands for height. It does not stand for slant height. So sometimes when our picture tells us what slant height is instead of what the height is, we need to do a little extra work. So let's look at an example. We want to first find the height of the cone, and then we want to calculate the volume of the cone. So my picture already has our height labeled as h. And first we will need to find this height. And we do that by using Pythagorean theorem. As a reminder, Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So for this picture, to calculate the height of the cone, I will need to do h squared plus 10 squared equals 13 squared. So the h squared comes down, 10 squared is 100, and 13 squared is 169. I will subtract 100 from both sides, so h squared equals 69. Then to get h by itself, I will need to do the square root. So the square root of 69 is approximately 8.31. So we have found the height of our cone. It is 8.31. Now our directions ask us to find the volume. So remember the formula for the volume of a cone is 1 third pi r squared times h. And remember that this h stands for height, not slant height. So when I calculate the volume, I do not use the 13, because the 13 is my slant height. Instead, I will use 8.31. So my volume will be 1 third pi, my radius is 10, multiplied by 8.31. Carefully type this into your calculator, and you get the approximate answer of 870.22, and we always label volume as units cubed.